Hello, this is Janos. Welcome to my channel. This is Real World Audio. And uh, now I'm going to give you something a little different from my usual videos when I just usually go on about saying things. Now I'm going to tell you guys why you should watch this channel or why you shouldn't if you decide so. So I give you the power to decide whether uh, what I have to offer interests you or not. Because if you have seen my uh, channel or a couple episodes at least, you have certainly by now realized that this is something very different from uh, what you get from other channels. And if you come here to uh, watch reviews on the latest shit that's being released, then uh, you will be very disappointed because I don't do that. Or if I share my uh, thoughts on gear, it's very different from what you people usually do. I don't do uh, sound samples, not because I don't like it or don't want to do it, just because I, you generally don't have time to just set up a microphone and uh, calibrate the levels and everything. You guys don't realize, but it takes very long time to set up just for a, a five minute recording of a video that can take several hours just to properly record one song and post it on YouTube. That, that's a whole lot of work. And, and as you notice, I have a few of those recordings already, maybe a couple of those, uh, but, uh, but not much more than that. I don't do that regularly so people can listen to how my system sounds or how certain things sound that I'm trying out. So that might be a disappointment to, to many. And if you wanted to see or hear that, then uh, that's not really happening here. So what on earth is happening here? And why should you watch my channels? Because uh, what I tell you guys is breaking it down how audio works, how audio gear is put together, what are the aspects that count towards sound and what are the aspects that just are visual or that are just uh, marketing uh, ding -ding -ding, stuff, additions that, that make the product sell good but they don't really affect how it sounds. And I think this type of audio education is something that's almost entirely missing nowadays. And even when you look at uh, the big uh, sources that used to be uh, the, I would say, the online Bible for audiophiles, like Stereophile or the Absolute Sound, then most of the reviewers who write there are just like you and I, like very uh, dedicated audiophiles who just love to listen to gear and they share what they hear. But for the most part, they are totally clueless what's in the box and what makes it sound the way it sounds and, and how the internals correlate to the pricing of, of, uh, of the product that's being sold. And uh, there are some exceptions to these. For example, there's a Herb Reichert and he himself uh, is, is a kind of a legendary amplifier builder. So if you uh, have looked into his life a little bit <laughs> and under his life, uh, the, the publications that he has published, uh, there's his uh, legendary flesh and blood amplifier. Look it up. And, uh, and he, he is one of those very few who knows how, uh, what's inside the box. But for, for most of it, most reviewers don't know what's inside the box and they can just comment on a purchase, comment on an acquisition. How will it work? How did it work in the system? they tried with the music they listened with, with their own preferences. And uh, 
I am getting feedback on my channel that, that I, I, I bought stuff based on reviews, they had rave reviews, I tried it out and it was a huge disappointment and, uh, and, and, and that's not something to detract or to add to online reviews because it's great because you hear feedback on, on the gear at some level but you really have to know the reviewer in person listen to his system that he has done the comparison with listen to his room where he's doing the comparison the actual music that he's listening to know what are his personal preferences how what is he looking for maybe he's looking for totally different cues that you are looking for and for him uh, something might trigger the notion of perfection and for you something very different is the trigger so this is what I'm sharing with you guys uh, the peeking under the hood going behind the scenes and uh, and I'm building your knowledge up from the ground so that you will be able to to become a grown-up audiophile so I'm taking you from the infant stage to uh, a position where you are in control of your own decisions, in control of your system and in control of your audio journey. So I think this is the most important thing because I have certainly gone through the same problems that every single audiophile goes through uh, and, uh, and I spent decades on learning how to organize things, how to cut through this endless jungle of uh, audio products, which is getting worse and worse. Every year, year by year, the number of audio companies is just exponentially uh, expanding. Uh, the the number of products is expanding as well and it's becoming harder and harder to choose year by year because there's more and more to choose from and and when you have two or three different products to choose from you have a, a easy choice but when you have hundreds thousands then it, it it's it's impossible it's it's very hard so get going back to the question what makes me qualified to give you guys advice because I'm just an audiophile just like yourself I do not have a company behind me I do not manufacture audio products I have this much zero uh, revenue from uh, audio sales because I'm not selling audio I'm not doing anything for profit I am an audiophile for my own fun I do build gear for myself uh, and I have uh, my closest friend, if, if they want to have something done to their systems, I, I, I do them for them, do it for them, but, but I do not do consignment jobs, I do not have any interest riding on this channel, so I'm not telling it to you guys because I want to make profit and, uh, and, uh, and I'm just skewing my words so that I can make more money through this channel because I'm making this much money through this channel so I'm sharing this information that I have so that you have power in your hands so one thing now comes the judgment part so I will share with you uh, what makes me qualified to to have a channel like this and why is it that I can share advice with you because there is like a billion audiophiles, I wish, uh, but certainly quite a few audiophiles uh, worldwide. And there is a, a couple hundred, maybe a couple thousand audiophiles on planet Earth who are uh, quite experienced. And, uh, and actually any of them could have a, a really nice uh, audio channel, a channel about audio, and, and we would all learn a lot from that. And, and now I have two things to say about that. One is that it generally doesn't happen. There's very, very few audiophiles who have uh, created uh, channels like Real Hi-Fi Help, 
uh, that's that's one such channel Larry he has tremendous experience listening to all sorts of audio gear and he shares his experience then uh, how to set those up how to mix and match things and I know people are uh, accusing him that that he is really uh, promoting audio node but uh, uh, I can tell you guys that 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 the properly set up audio node system is is just really really far off from the run of the mill audio gear and and if you just go commercially without DIYing then uh, audio note is maybe one of the very few roads where you can reach a very high level of system and uh, I know there are uh, lots of comments that I'm receiving that uh, from from serious audio files that they put together an audio system an audio note system and they didn't like the sound because it was colored and uh, and and o audio note gear have a very a strong character to themselves and that prevents a lot of people from enjoying it fully and to that I can say that I have uh, heard three different audio note systems and in the lower price range they are certainly very colored and that's true but at the extra orbital price category like thinking about the money you spent for a Bentley or a Rolls Royce Silver Spirit then the, the coloration is gone it's it's not there anymore and then you of course you would say okay who who wants to spend or who has that kind of money for stereo and i totally agree with those uh, comments but i can also say that uh, uh, if you want that that type of presentation that like a level 5 audio note system has uh, it, it, it's very very hard to find with commercial products at any price even at the multiple prices of a Bentley you are not going to find such a performance so that's why Larry has a very uh, crucial information to share with everyone because he has done tremendous work with uh, listening like, like, like going to the extremes to listen to all kinds of gear that you can buy commercially to put together uh, the best system what's the best synergy with all kinds of gears out there and uh, unfortunately I'm I can I don't have uh, Larry's experience because I have not gone to extreme lengths to listen to uh, all these uh, different kinds of audio gear I just listen to well, I, I also heard quite diverse stuff, but uh, what happened to me is that I found uh, an amazing mentor. His name was Stu, Stu Ono, and, uh, and he had an audio store here in Honolulu. And I said head because he sadly he passed away in 2015. And... Uh, he is is very very much missed because he was uh, I can say that he was the most amazing uh, person in audio in uh, in the past decades <laughs> at least uh, I can say that and if, if I if I ask people I, I really hate name dropping and mentioning people but if you would ask like Ray Kimber and Mark Levinson uh, they could also say that uh, oh just tell them like tell me stories about the, that crazy Hawaiian uh, audio guy and then they say oh boy he was like he lived in a totally different universe uh, from us and uh, and basically what Stu did and he had a whole lifetime experience of that is uh, taking apart everything and finding out what makes things tick and uh, and he had the most amazing knowledge on audio and he it, it took apart not just uh, like uh, loudspeakers amplifiers cartridges capacitors transformers he, he took apart everything uh, to, to see how they are put together why is uh, one uh, product sound different from the other and and he basically had 
a wealth of information, a wealth of, wealth of knowledge that no one else had. I haven't seen anyone with such a wide range of knowledge as to had. And, uh, and people were pushing him very hard to create his own company, but he refused it because if he makes his own company, then he is unable to take apart like other companies' products because he did not feel it right that, okay, now I just look inside what's inside the Conrad Johnson amp or, uh, you know, whatever, Wonderstein loudspeakers and, and I just, uh, you know, take their ideas and then I use by myself, for myself to make profit on Richard Wonderstein's uh, original idea and... Uh, which is actually what now a lot of companies are doing, um, especially I'm not naming companies in, in a certain part of the world, but what they are doing is just 100% basically stealing the ideas from the Western world and just repackaging it and, and selling it super cheap. But my mentor, he did not want to go that way. He thought and believe that having the knowledge and sharing it is much more important than uh, just, you know, repackaging it, adding a little bit more to it and making money. And, uh, and I had the fortune to, to have met him when I was much younger and, and learned from him, study and learn from him for, for about a decade and a half. And, and during that time, uh, I was in touch with him. I, I was thinking about it, uh, about an average of two hours every single day for uh, 15 years. Well, it was not every single day, but roughly every day, at least. We were in contact for two hours, sometimes much longer than that. So when I add that up, that's uh, over 10,000 hours of picking his brains. And, uh, and the way uh, we, we communicated with each other, the way I learned from him is very much similar to the way I'm teaching now these uh, videos or giving this, these materials that I have on my channel, is that um, he was talking about subjects and going deep into them. And... Uh, and, and each subject, when you look at it, has so many shades, so many attributes to it that, that uh, today this approach that people want to have, I want a two-minute video to tell me everything about capacitors. Pick one. You cannot. You want to know everything about capacitors? It will take you two years <laughs> and hundreds and hundreds of hours of videos and we still didn't get to the end of it. And, uh, and that's why when you listen to those two minutes videos and uh, flashy title, million views and people are, wow, fantastic graphics, excellent videos, but the content you get is zero. In, in one ear, goes out, nothing, you learn nothing. And... Uh, I just want you guys to have, and girls, to have something more than that, to, to give you knowledge. And, and so far I have made, I don't know how many, maybe like 500 or so videos, and the average length is about 20 minutes. Uh, so what does it make it? Like less than 200 hours of content shared? Well, I have, as I said, over 10,000 hours that I learned from my mentor and uh, of that I have shared now about 200 hours. So, so now it's your judgment that uh, are you, what can you expect from my channel? Uh, if you think that I have shared already a lot, uh, then you can rest assured that I still have a lot more to share. And of course, those 10,000 hours was just my interactions with my mentor. On top of that, I had interactions with my other mentors and audio buddies, uh, soldering, doing things by myself, listening to music. So, so you can say that I have a, a little exposure to, to audio 
and uh, and uh, not just about when you buy a box and you put it in and do we really need like a double blind a b test or or, or measurements uh, that that kind of uh, absolute ridiculous uh, infant infantile bs that's going on on the internet people driveling about that there's a million views for each of these uh, asinine videos for people uh, sorry guys uh, for some this might be something new but if you are an audiophile and you at least had a, like a one or two systems that that you put together and and you have spent more than one year with audio then it it's like a really brutal joke to get stuck at this level uh, it's kind of like these are like infant sicknesses that that you go through and and then then you go on and move on with your life and 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 sadly i see that a lot of people are still at that level even after 30 40 years come on uh, so that's why i thought that there's a, a lot that needs to change in the, in the perception of a regular audiophile and this is what i'm talking about when i'm mentioning growing up from an infant audiophile to an adult audiophile and uh, the number of years one is listening or one is playing around with gear, it will not tell you whether that person is an infant or adult. There are some people who even after 40 years, they are still at the infant stage and that's because they never found the direction. And, uh, and uh, I, I know from my example how incredibly lucky I was to have met Stu that and that he was such a person who was willing to share all his knowledge but I have to tell you guys that uh, that did not just happen to me I'm not just a lucky son of a gun that I really had to put in tens of thousands of hours of my life so that's a pretty serious dedication that anyone can do and I can tell you that even if you are listening to my videos and you just get stuck at that level that you are absorbing what I'm saying, but you don't translate it into experience, you don't try out those things, then, then you will still get stuck very close to that uh, infant audiophile uh, stage. And uh, always the first step is to learn to open your eyes to the possibilities, to get the understanding there. And uh, after that, you can go and, and enjoy life. And uh, all of you, you are at very different stages, very different stages of happiness, very different stages of uh, learning. And uh, for some of you, you might need advice how to get where you want to go get. And there's some of you who are already there, but maybe you just want to understand it more. Just understand the process that how did you get there? Why did you get there? And how you can help others to get where you have arrived. So I wanted to make this a five minute long video. Now it's 20 plus minutes. That's how life works. Uh, some things take a lot of time to explain and I took just uh, quite a bit more. So thank you if you are still listening. Thank you for listening. Please uh, like and subscribe. That's the liking is the only way basically to ensure that others will also got to see my videos. Otherwise, YouTube is not really favoring my videos. I have very few views. I've, I'm not getting millions of views and uh, if you just accidentally found this channel make sure to hit the subscribe and hit that notification bell things otherwise i can almost guarantee that you will never ever see another of my videos again so thank you folks and have a most amazing day and an even more amazing audio journey bye bye